How do you search YouTube? It seems like it'd be pretty simple, right? You just go to YouTube and you type in some keywords. Well, that's true, but there's a lot more to searching YouTube to find interesting videos and channels for your social media marketing than you'd expect. In this video, let me lead you through different ways to search YouTube. Let's get started. Welcome back. We are looking at how to search YouTube for marketing purposes, and I'm going to run through some tricks uh, and tips about how to effectively find uh, videos and channels on YouTube. Now, we're looking at it from the perspective of marketing, so kind of keep in mind you're looking either for competitors, so people who produced videos that are similar to yours, similar to your industry, people you directly compete against, or you're just sort of looking at YouTube uh, really kind of with a sense of admiration. So you're finding people maybe not in your industry, but who are producing content that you think is interesting, appropriate, a good model uh, structurally uh, for what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, the materials, of course, are in the YouTube description. So click on that and you can go over to the blog post and you'll see the links uh, that I'm working with. All right, so first of all, let's sort of start with browsing YouTube to see what's popular. And I always think this is sort of frustrating, sort of ironic. It's actually kind of difficult to go on YouTube and see what's popular. Um, there are certain things that these big social media companies do uh, that, uh, to be honest, I kind of find mind boggling that no one at YouTube has realized how difficult uh, it is to see what's popular on YouTube, but it is kind of difficult. All right, so um, let's actually go over to YouTube. And uh, let's, let me sort of show you. So I actually have the link directly to it. That's really the easiest way to get to it. There's a channel, believe it or not, called Popular on YouTube. And you have to kind of know it's there. And then what I would recommend if you're interested in YouTube is to subscribe to the channel. And then once you subscribe, everything that you subscribe to will be here on the left-hand side um, of, of your uh, login. Uh, and once you're on this channel, and of course I have the link for you, then you can see kind of what's popular, what's sort of uh, trending. You can see new music videos. Uh, it kind of goes into categories. So you can see down here, you know, um, people are talking about what kind of dogs there are. And there's 448,000 views of that video in less than three days. Uh, you can just kind of go and drill and see all of the categories and see kind of what's trending. And then you can sort of go in uh, to a category like brand new tech, and then you can see everything that's um, trending and interesting in um, brand new tech. And these, I believe these are actually sort of an algorithm, but I also think they're chosen by YouTubers. It's not really clear how that works. Now, related to that, when you're logged into YouTube just as a user, See so are my subscriptions, right? And then you can go way down to the bottom and you'll see browse channels. So go onto YouTube, go to the very left, go way down to the bottom, click on browse channels. And then again, you're able to see, you can drill down and you can sort of say, take kind of an industry you're interested in. Let's say you're in the beauty industry. You can go YouTube channels, beauty and fashion. And then this is going to tell you kind of what are the most popular channels uh, in a category. Again, if there's sort of a channel that really fits your industry, you're able to kind of drill down into that. And that again is sort of hidden. It's way down here um, on the left hand side. Uh, side. You have to go way down here under your subscriptions to find it, and then you drill into it. So those are two good ways to kind of just see it. Now, YouTube, I mean, kind of even more than Snapchat, right? This is the youth culture. This is the pop culture. So don't get discouraged if you're a B2B company or you're kind of a nichier company, because this is the really high volume stuff. Um, Sometimes it's a little appalling. It's a little bit uh, of kind of um, lowbrow culture, to be honest. It's sort of the Kardashian type of culture. Um, you know, I'm not going to make a value judgment there, but, you know, it's, it's that genre of stuff. Uh, so that's always not the best way to do, to see what's really interesting for your company and your uh, genre. So second method, you want to be able to search YouTube, and you can do this via Google, or you can search it directly on uh, YouTube itself. So in terms of 
Google, right, one thing you can do, and I have links here for just random, right? So let's say you're into turkey hunting, right? You're a turkey hunting manufacturer. You make, I don't know, guns or turkey honey whistles or something. So you're going to go to Google, and you can do a search for turkey hunting, and then click on videos. If you don't see it, click on more, but you see videos, and then search tools, and you can choose by duration. You can choose past month. You can choose what source. So you can use that. That can be for anything. It doesn't have to be turkey hunting. I know that's not politically correct. You can put in here organic food or something. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever keyword is interesting. And you can go search tools uh, anytime. What's kind of going out there on organic food in the last month, and then you're able to pop over to YouTube. That's one way to do it through Google. Another way that you can do it through Google is go to Google and type in site colon YouTube.com, no space, of course, and then, you know, quote organic food, you know, whatever it is, turkey hunting, doesn't matter. And then again, search tools uh, anytime past month, and you're able to use Google to penetrate YouTube. And then you can go check out a video and uh, take a look at a video. Okay, now on YouTube itself, you can also do the same thing. So you can go into YouTube, you can type in quote organic food, you know, again, it could be whatever keyword sort of seems relevant for your marketing, your industry. Uh, and then here's again where it's a little user unfriendly. So you're going to type in, let me zoom in here. I always forget to zoom in and make this nice and big for people. So you type in uh, your keyword into YouTube. And then you're going to see your results down here. And it's going to kind of prioritize them, as we've discussed before, on view count, on uh, is the um, title of the video relevant, etc. Now, here's what you can do, which is kind of cool. Click on filters. And then you can say, well, let's say I want to know the most popular videos in the last year. So click filter this year. Then click filter view count. And so now I have taken organic food and I filtered it this year, view count, and that will tell me that the most popular video in organic food in the last year rated on view count is organic balance, um, 900,000 views. So you can use YouTube filters uh, to see what's up. So and that can be on anything. It can be on turkey hunting, right? You can do turkey hunting. Maybe that's not the most politically correct. You could, you know, do whatever. You could put how to trust a turkey. I don't know why I have. I think it's Thanksgiving's coming. I'm thinking about turkey. Uh, you could have how to trust a turkey. And again, filters this year, filters, view count, and then you can see like what's the most uh, relevant uh, video out there. Okay. Now, that's the second sort of core idea is browsing to see what's popular or um, searching YouTube and using some of those tricks uh, to see uh, what's uh, going out there. Okay, now you want to do your inventory. So as you're looking at YouTube, you want to look at videos and you want to look at channels and you want to learn a little bit. What can I learn from my competition about what they're doing? Because nothing succeeds like success. Imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? So you want to see what are people producing uh, that's high quality, that's also getting high view counts, that's getting a lot of interactivity. So if you find a video, so I have an example here, a video, is organic food better uh, for your health? Uh, spoiler alert, uh, yes it is. Uh, okay, so let's pop over to this video. And I, I'm not going to watch it, I'm just going to stop it here. Something. Okay, and notice here, so you go into a video that you found, and this video is super popular, you know, nearly a quarter million views. Click on this More tab. So log into the video. Go to the video. Click on this Hidden More tab. There's so many Google products that you've got to click around randomly. You know, uh, you know shout out to Google, like world's most non-intuitive user interfaces, right? Who ever thought of these stupid three dots, right? They don't mean anything, right? So you got to click on the three dots and then under statistics and you're going to find, oh, yum, 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 yum. Here's my competitor's video. Here's his view count. 
Here's how interactive it's been. Here's the number of subscriptions it's driven to his channel. Here's how shareable, wow, 1,400 shares of this video. That's pretty cool. Of course, here's the total view count. Here's the thumbs up. Here's the thumbs down. And then you can also scroll down and look at the comments. So find a video and then click on more statistics and you can see how popular that video is. That's pretty cool to see that. Now you can also go up to their channel, click on their channel, click on videos, click on uploads, um, I'm sorry, click on over here, date added, most popular. So in a channel, you can see that on this channel, healthcare triage, the most popular video, video is marijuana harmful to health. Probably spoiler alert. It's April alert. 20th. Probably yes, probably is. Uh, click on more statistics, and then you can see here subscriptions and shares. So you can really learn a lot about a competitor channel. What videos are the most popular? What's going on with those videos? This is pretty much public information. They can block this information, but most people don't know how to block it, so they don't turn it off. So it's really interesting to see that. So that's good uh, statistical information out there. Okay, now, so your inventory and videos, what videos are popular, what videos are showing up on search, what videos are getting shares, what videos are getting view counts, etc. That's helping you learn what's popular, what people like, because guess what? You gotta produce content that people like. Now next you wanna go and look at some channels and sort of make some judgments. So I'm gonna show you Lisa Irby's channel here. So she's awesome. She's a really big YouTuber. And uh, she has got uh, 82,000 subscribers, so I'm totally in awe of Lisa Irby. She's a much more important channel than ours. Uh, and she just is great. She's kind of like how to make money, you know, how to do stuff from home. She's a really interesting channel. And then you want to sort of inventory, you know, do you like her cover photo? Do you like her profile picture? Click on the About tab on the video and see if you like you know kind of how she describes her channel and uh, the the links here not that much really to a channel but let's click for a second here and let's stop so then when you're not subscribed so i purposely have not subscribed to her channel right now so that i can see what's called the unsubscribed trailer this is the trailer that people see on a video channel uh, if they haven't subscribed and the purpose of the unsubscribed channel uh, trailer is this is my channel this is what you're gonna learn it's kind of a pitch so let's say I land on one of her videos I watch her video and I go up to her channel then uh, she's pitching me to hit that subscribe button because once I've subscribed then it's social media and she's gonna show my her videos will show and I'll see them and I'll get email alerts and all this kind of good stuff so I want you to just watch this uh, hopefully it'll come through the sound let's watch this channel and just watch how beautifully constructed her uh, subscribe to my channel is um, on YouTube. Hey, what's going on? It's Lisa from TwoCreatorWebsite.com. Well, since you're sitting there just staring at my channel, you might as well hit that subscribe button. Why? Well, because you want to make money online like me. You want to learn about AdSense and blogging and YouTube and marketing your website. All those things, right? So hit that button and I'll see you in the next video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some work to do. Peace. So I just love that. It's just a really good explanation of her channel and what you want to do. So that's your unsubscribed trailer. Now, it's a little difficult to set up. So I have a link to the help file on how to subscribe to create what's called the unsubscribed channel. And they fortunately finally fixed this and made this much easier. This used to be really difficult. They've made it easier to set up uh, than it used to be. So that's one of the things they've actually fixed over there at Google slash YouTube. And I have a link to my own unsubscribe channel uh, trailer so you can watch Hello. my own. And it's very similar to Lisa Irby's. I mean, imitation is the highest form of flattery. Uh, finally, remember that you know, as you go search for videos, as you browse videos, as you look at videos and describe what you like, what you don't like, what you think is good, what you think is bad, as you look at uh, channels like Lisa Irby's or mine, what do you like, what don't you like, you're going to define your own style, your own brand image. Uh, just remember 
that 99.9% .9 of the action on YouTube is at that video level. So if you produce great videos that people find interesting, engaging, provocative, that's where your success is going to be. And be sure to promote those videos uh, through advertising, influencer marketing, and SEO, because it's a shame to produce videos that no one watches. Uh, and there's just so many wonderful things you can do with videos. That, my friends, is how to search YouTube for marketing purposes. Please thumb up, thumb down, comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. It really helps us uh, get our own message out there uh, to people who want to understand SEO and social media marketing.